good evening or morning or afternoon or wherever you are. A uh, good time frame, everybody. Um, sorry it took me a second. I had to put new batteries in my mouse. It was dying and it was like very slowly going across the screen. Okay, what is my camera doing? It's like kind of flickering. We're gonna do something kind of fun. I was gonna have these like cycling colors behind me. So hopefully it doesn't make me look like a weird unwhite balanced demon. Yep, it's gonna do that, but whatever. Colors are uh, are weird on cameras. But anywho, I'm streaming art tonight. Um, I've actually been kind of arting it up all day. Uh, I was kind of slow at work today, so I actually managed to get some um, actual, actual personal and commission work done. Um, which is what I want to do. Hello, Source Hill! Speaking of commissions, I'm working on your stuff tonight. I hope you're excited to see it. Always, always, if you hate it, please let me know. If you hate it, if you're like, mm, I pictured it more like this, or I wanted it this way, or please, by all means, tell me. Um, but I had a burst of inspiration today, so um, I'm gonna turn some music on too. Um, and I got some uh, free time at work where I could actually, uh, doodle on my iPad and um, work on stuff. I hope this isn't too loud for y'all. Y'all let me know if the volume on the game music is too much, because I can turn it down. I can actually take it down. Okay, if my stupid move interface, move, <laughs> trying to get to my volume control. Hello, Midda's here to say hi to everybody, right at the top, because of course she is. Aren't you, Mid? Look at this cutie pie. She's gonna help me today. And probably, probably by helping, I mean, uh, harassing me, right? Can you say hi to everybody? Love you, girl. <laughs> anyway, um, working on some more commission stuff tonight. Um, my goal this time was to draw another character for the poster, which, uh, I have the notes pulled up again. Excuse me, Um... I have, let me pull up my notes. <laughs> Miles, brown skin, black hoodie with skeletal system on the front and back, skeleton gloves, canvas shoes, and jeans using a paintball gun. So that's my goal for today, is to draw him. Um, I'll just hop on over to my art stream. So, Last time we were here, I'll pull up, turn on the background so you can see her a little bit better. We were working on Lauren. Lauren is one of the characters in this movie. Also, I saw a sore on my tongue, so like, if I like sound like I'm lisping or if I just like not, if I don't talk for a second, it's because it hurts. And it's my, t my tongue is like super swollen. So it, it's like trying to jump out of the way of my teeth. And it's, it's just, that's a lot. Um, put some medicine on it but anyway I get canker sores all the time but yeah uh, just just bear with me on that uh, but last time we were drawing Lauren the redhead um, let's see her was a green eyes girl with curly hair dressed like Jill Valentine and that's uh, who we did stylized canvas shoes okay I, I did some high tops I don't know if that's what you mean by stylized but if you want to do like some really like cool cool shoes for him we can totally do that um this is what i have so far i actually managed to get to the line art stage um during work for miles um i was actually inspired by this tiktoker that i saw i had his name hold on i totally looked him up earlier give me a second i think i saw the the tab Jordan Fiction on TikTok. Let me see if I can pull up a picture on stream. I hope, I hope it doesn't like, I don't make him feel weird. But I saw him do a TikTok about I let him singing like spooky scary skeletons and it just like, hold on. <clears throat> and this could absolutely not be who, you, like like the kind of look that you were thinking of, um, Source Hill, about your character Miles. So if I'm wrong, then then I can change it. Is 
it's like one image from TikTok. I don't know how well you can see. But I was like, he looks like Miles. And actually in the video that I saw him, he was wearing like a hoodie with skeleton. I wish I could find like a clip from that. I just like his vibe. <laughs> it's hard to find good pictures. That sucks. I mean, there's good pictures, but it's like hard to, they're all like low res. Well, okay, I can't find a good one. That's probably the best picture I could find on a brief Google search. Actually, this is from their TikTok that I think I saw him on. But it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really do him, like, I can't really, like, use it as a reference because there's text and stuff. But yeah, I just saw this guy's TikTok and I was, like, inspired. So, anyway, I could be totally off base. If I am, please let me know. I'll redraw stuff if I have to. Um, but... If we're good, I was gonna start kind of laying down the flat colors and his hair shorter. Okay, so Miles Morales. Pants would go over his shoes. Okay, yeah, I can totally do that. Pants over the shoes instead of tucked in Miles Morales hair. We can work with that. Let me grab a Miles Morales ref. So, so, okay, I, I was about to, you already, you already specified. I was going to ask, are we talking, like, Into the Spider-Verse or are we talking the video game? Because Into the Spider-Verse has a bit more volume to his hair, whereas the video game is a little more close, close to the, the scalp. Damn, these renders are, man, video game technology and graphics are just so freaking good at this point look at that that's like so realistic i love how you did no no, no. but oh my gosh if you want to nitpick nitpick by all means this is this is your commission nitpick away it's not even like nitpicking it's just being specific you're totally fine i'm like happy to do whatever so let's let's give him a little haircut to the salon Oh god, what is what is Photoshop doing right now? I just want to scale this down proportionally. Oh, look at those colors too, like that pink highlight and the Ugh! Aesthetic. Anyway. I'm in a wild mood today, y'all. I had a fun little game night with my friend last night, which was kind of neat. We played some Terraria, which I am horrible at, by the way. Um, it's very overwhelming, but she she showed me the ropes. We died several times at the hands of uh, hungry zombies and um, angry ghosts and some very, very determined demon eyeballs. Um, oh goodness. Well, lucky for you, I put his hair, uh, I was smart and I put his hair on an entirely separate layer and I can just take that off and we can, we can give him a, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mask this real quick just so I can get, stuff I need I like how I followed the contour of the shoulder and then I literally just cut it off so okay now I can scoot him over and I can get him a little close so I can more closely look at him that's how I work y'all um let's see is this layer right yeah I can duplicate that and then we can trim it down because I had some of his hair I have his hoodie up over his head so we can like it's kind of hiding there underneath Is 
if I can find a brush that was pretty similar to what I was using in Procreate. Because I've been practicing like doing stuff in Procreate as well as doing... Um... What does this look like? That's pretty close. I've been practicing Procreate as well as my Photoshop because I want... I want to give myself, you know, a couple different programs to work with, just in case the industry- sorry, there's stuff on my laptop keyboard- or laptop keyboard. Computer keyboard. This is not a laptop. I don't know why I called it that. Um, I want to- I want to learn other programs just in case the industry starts moving away from- from Photoshop as the standard. bear down really hard. Let's turn that up a bit. So much shorter. Boop. Boop. Haircut! Alright, now let's fix the pants. Um, that's all on this layer, but that is okay. I can work with that. Okay, I'm curious. This brush is called Big Bad Wolf. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's taking a second to follow my mouse, but interesting. Wait, is it a wolf? Oh my gosh, I, I want to talk about this. The weirdest thing happened at my work the other day. Um, so <laughs> our building is getting, um, is getting repainted. It's just, you know, why is it? Okay, maybe I was just pressing something. Um, our building is getting repainted, our office building, and they hired, obviously, you know, a professional painter to do the job. And apparently I didn't even know this until like the other day, but he's been working on this, you know, repaint for like at least a week, maybe more. Um, but like nothing's really getting, has, you know, gotten done. And so obviously it's kind of like a, what the hell's going on? Like why, what's, what's the hold up? Um, this guy that was hired to do the painting told my uh like the owner and the like my uh boss's boss the vp the vice president of the company um that 
that he was too scared to finish the job because when he was doing, when he was working on it one night, this group of kids, like, came up. They were, like, four different, like, teenagers just, like, playing soccer around him in his car and, like, were, like, kind of messing with him and, like, freaking him out. And <laughs> he was like, I just, you know, I, I'm scared for my life. Like, you know, there's, I don't know what to do. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I feel comfortable working on this by myself. Oh, shit. I feel comfortable working on this by myself. And, and so my, my, uh, the VP and the owner of the company were like, okay, well, we have a security camera, so let's pull the footage and like let's see, like maybe we can, you know, see who these kids are and like you know tell tell them to back off or whatever, you know maybe we have evidence or something. This, this man. <laughs> they caught this man, who was supposed to be painting our freaking building, dancing and like flailing around the parking lot and like taking his shirt off and putting it back on and taking it off and putting it back on and, like taking it off and like wiping his sweat and like swinging it around like some freaking cowboy and like trying to pretend out to like break dance it was like it was wild like the man had to be high and like when they were telling me like other stuff he had like done like like the way he would just like walk away from his car like fully running like door open and everything and be like oh, somebody in my car and they were like what <laughs> He had to be like, he had to be on drugs. So when I saw this footage, goodness gracious, man, you didn't even want anything to do with me. You just used me as a bridge. Um, yeah. So they were like, you're full of shit. You're clearly just getting high on the job. And I was like, he was dancing around with his ladder and there's like no headphones in, like just wild shit. <laughs> I was like, what am I what am I looking at? Like I got the, I got to see the actual footage. I was <laughs> it's so weird. It was just very, very weird. Mitha, you can't bump my hand. I'm working on stuff. Silly. Are you gonna lay down right there? I'll move my headphone stand so you can lay down right there. <laughs> Sweet kitty. Don't jump up there, please. Because then you're going to jump down. It's going to scare me. All right. I don't like how the pants are looking. I feel like I didn't do that right. Hang up a little bit. Different way. a little better. Looks like there's more gravity there. This leg looks fine. It's this one that was bothering me. Alright. So, now that that is good. No, I don't need to save that one. Open my skin thingy.
Actually, I should label my stuff real quick. I don't need these anymore, I guess. What is this? I don't need that one anymore either. Boop. Alright. Here. Meta. Sketch, sketch. That's my sketch layer. I might keep that. I might group it though. Merge them. Call it sketch layer. And then I do a cool turn. It is wine. Yes, I'm having a glass of wine. It was a bug. It's been a long week. I know it's only Wednesday, but it's just this week's been kind of dragging for me. Oops. Forgot I wasn't. Getting lost in the details. I need to focus. <laughs> I guess not focus. I need to zoom out. That's <laughs> what I should say. Both literally, literally and figuratively, I need to zoom out. So I'm actually gonna put a gun in his hand up here, a pistol, but I'm gonna put like one of the bigger guns too, like around him. Oh my god! Minda! <laughs> you just come out of nowhere! You're like a meteor! <laughs> you just like... Why do you, why do you do that? You scare me! You're so fluffy. You gotta stop doing that though. You gotta stop, you gotta stop jumping from up there. the opacity set. I need to fix that. You know, drawing a skeleton hoodie reminds me that Halloween is coming up. 
I know there's like a whole other month, but shh. <laughs> Halloween is, is approaching. I love Halloween. Not to be like one of those hashtag quirky girls, but I do love Halloween a lot. Especially as a cosplayer, I feel like that's where I started. <laughs> I always wanted my Halloween costume to be like so cool and so awesome. And I want I always had like very specific ideas of what I wanted to be and what did I wanted what I wanted to do with my costume and people just didn't understand I'm like it's not that serious and I'm like but it is serious. And I was like, "Oh, I was trying to cosplay." And then I figured out I could do it like on not on a holiday and I was like, "Holy shit, my world is wide open." Speaking of cosplay too, I, <laughs> I sort of, I sort of impulse bought a, uh, does that hood come up? Oh God. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and color it all the way in, but I, I do want the hair to kind of pop out a little for effect, you know? I don't know why I was like avoiding this area. I can totally. Sorry, I, I didn't finish my sentence. Um, I impulse bought a cosplay. Sort of. <laughs> it's not really much of a costume since it's the character just wears like a, a tie and a shirt mostly. The like main point of the costume is like the wig and her horns, which I'm probably giving it away, but. <clears throat> I, I bought a power cosplay from Chainsaw Man. Cause I finished reading Chainsaw Man. And I liked it, I, I enjoyed it. Power is my probably my favorite. So. Nice little simple cosplay, I suppose. I have big plans for the month of October. I wanna do, I wanna play like a bunch of horror games. I wanna play a bunch of horror games on stream. I wanna like do like a horror-thon, do some cosplay streams. I feel like, I feel like I can do it. I, I, I really want to, cause it would be fun. to give him like cool colored jeans but like what if I just gave him like like some wild jeans like something nah I'll just give him blue jeans go too crazy with the color scheme on one character because I want them to all mesh together.
Oh no. The cursed dot on what something on the lair. Ha! Found you. Oh shit, I don't know. Different layers. <laughs> gloves to be a little bit darker, but I can't go much darker than that because One glove. That's two. Okay, if you wanted, if you wanted stylized canvas shoes, like custom, what is there like a specific color that you're you're looking for, like a pattern? Because I don't want to like go too far if, and I can save the shoes for like way later. It's it doesn't all have to be done in like a certain way, so. gonna shade the clothing before I do the skin because I also want to get the skeleton pattern and just so I don't miss any bones I'm gonna pull up the skeleton really <laughs> skeleton hoddy because I spelled it wrong like a dumbass Wow, some of these are really cool. They have like the mask that you can like zip all the way up. Is that a skeleton sweater vest? What the fuck? Oh my god. Wait, what? Does it come in different colors too? Or is that just like a different pattern? What, what is this? Oh my god, they have Halloween colors. Wait, I gotta show this to y'all. Oh, whoop. <laughs> wow, talk about a pattern hoodie. Copy. Paste. There it is. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Arrow. <laughs> I didn't mean it to be like that, but because it's a clipping mask, it <laughs> kind of looks like it's trying to wear it. 
Look at that though. It's like a an Argyle skeleton sweater vest. Anyway. <laughs> That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for a skeleton hoodie. Something like this. Like this. Ooh, spooky. Work smarter, not harder. Vertebrae are like so hard to draw. I remember in my life drawing class, I was like, oh my god, I gotta get to the spine now. I remember when I was learning the bones in my anatomy class in high school, I had to make like a song. Well, I guess I didn't really have to, but it was like kind of a bonus credit sort of thing. Oh, thank you. Where did I put my water bottle? Give me one second. <laughs>
I'm back. I'm back. Water. Very important. Very important. Thank you. Thank you, Metal Baba, for redeeming your hydrate points. <laughs> or I guess my hydrate points. Refreshing. <clears throat> I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, my extra credit thing for anatomy. I drew, not drew, I wrote a song, sort of, like a parody of um, Under the Sea. I can't even really remember it. Of um, the different types of bones. I think we were doing, uh, in theater, we were doing Little Mermaid Junior at the time for like the elementary schoolers to come see in the morning. And I played one of the Mer sisters. So I had Under the Sea like constantly playing. I guess one day I was just like, I guess I'm gonna write the bones of the human body to this. I hope this, this looks as good as I think it's gonna look. much of like that arm socket bone I should like stretch over and hmm. also look at it in a minute This is groovy.
Hell yeah. The question is the shoulder joint. did that photo is really funny. Hmm. I think I'll just have it kind of randomly connect like they have theirs. Wait, uh, is that just the fold? I wonder if I can find a picture where it's all spread out. Actually, most of them really just have like they don't have them like perfectly connected so yeah <laughs> some of them are more left up to interpretation Ooh, this one's got lightning bolts on the sleeve that's pretty neat Um, yes, I I sent you an email. Um, where did I? Oh my goodness. Where's, there it is. <laughs> Peria, I don't. You wanted it to be similar to Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy, but I wasn't sure if you meant like in a style or if like you meant just like the layout or yeah, but I'm ready to go for that too if you if you're ready. to give you the character descriptions and such and let you do whatever you feel is best. Okay. Yeah, I can do that too. We can we can kind of spitball and brainstorm first if you want. Now for the 
hands, those gloves. Okay, awesome, sounds perfect. Colton gloves have the I don't think they really have anything on the underside, do they? Hmm. I guess I could do it either way. Yeah. I'll hint at it like draw us a pistol. It won't be like lime green like this.
this opacity down just a tad. <laughs> again. <laughs> Got another gun. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Let's 
give it an all over color for, for starters. Then we'll trick it out. I wish I could get better at freehanding guns, but I'm not there yet. I'm not super knowledgeable on guns, to be honest. Alright, cool! We have a gun! With a general color on it. delete these references now. color is um, Miles' eyes. Does he have dark eyes or does he have light eyes? Or does he have like cool superhuman eyes? Glowing green eyes like Danny Phantom. brows in with his hair. Light brown or green? Okay. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do like hazel, like a mix between light brown and green. Is the lies it is. <laughs> I 
I got in such an argument with my boyfriend the other day. Actually, this is an ongoing argument. He, like, refuses to believe that his eyes are hazel. When they are. They're totally hazel. Let the record- let the record be shown that his eyes are hazel. They're like... Here, this is a great reference image. This is light hazel, this is dark hazel, brown hazel, green with flecks, gold with gold flecks, great. Yeah, so this is like a little more blue, that's like a little more brown, but his are like kinda here. Sometimes they can go towards blue. He's got hazel eyes. And he's like, no, my whole life I've been told my eyes are green. And I'm like, okay, you're not wrong. Hazel is a kind of green. But like his eyes and my eyes are different kinds of green. I have more of a light, like almost aqua blue. That sounds so pretentious to say it that way. <laughs> I have aqua blue green eyes. No, but I have like green green eyes. And he has hazel green eyes. And he just... Ah! Anyway, so it's it's <laughs> this like little bicker thing. So I'm gonna do probably light hazel, maybe with a bit more green. So I guess right here, somewhere, something like that. You know what? Let's let's get a palette going. Cool, now I have a bunch of different colors to choose from. Hard to tell from a distance, but Ta -da!
is not the color I chose. <laughs> together really oh my gosh that's adorable I immediately ship them <laughs> oh it's so cute oh I can't wait to see how that unfolds I'll be sure to make miles really cute then gonna shade the clothes before I usually I shade the, the skin before I do anything else because it's sometimes difficult but I find that through my some of the practice I've been doing I, I'm finding that like I panic about the skin and then I like forget that I can actually get context for how the skin will be shadowed and light and whatever based on the clothes that are covering it so I'm gonna actually reverse my method a little bit and see how that works out happening why is this not I guess there's just got to be enough of a difference I'm just gonna straight up shade with black I'll just crank the opacity down I want the hoodie to be pretty much pretty much black anyway because it's just hard because you can't go you don't want to go straight pitch black because then you have nowhere to go for shadows the struggle is real! Hmm. I'm gonna turn the skeleton off for now. Because I'm gonna probably shade it separately.
Let's try smudging. Nope, not like that. I wonder if there's like a Photoshop brush I could I can download that makes the smudge brush similar to the smudge brush in Procreate. Because I like the way that one works. And the reason why I don't use the smudge brush in Photoshop is because it doesn't, well, because it didn't work like the one in Procreate. And then I was like, well, I can't really blend like I do with colors in Photoshop. So when I was trying to teach myself Procreate, I was like, everybody's using the smudge tool. And the more I played with it, I was like, wait, this is like wonderful. This is exactly what I want it to do. But I can't get the, <laughs> it's just kind of hard. To, it's like going from a Mac to a PC. Like they do the same thing essentially. But like the way, like the buttons you press on a PC are different than the buttons you press on a Mac. And sometimes the hand position is different because the keys are in slightly different places. It's kind of like that, but with Procreate brushes and uh, Photoshop brushes. I don't know. I wonder if there's like somebody who's figured that out. Surely there's somebody who's figured it out. I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh no, it's one of those sneezes that like comes up on you and then like just, ah, such a tease. <laughs> oh, I hate that feeling though. It could be worse. everybody's staying safe and healthy and you know not keep 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 from getting sick and stuff I think a lot of people forget when like now that there's a lot of people that refuse to wear masks even more so because we got that brief moment of you can take the mask off if you're vaccinated which was kind of dumb anyway in my opinion but anywho um the other normal normal sicknesses are gonna start coming back too, like really bad colds and the normal flu and you know, things like that. Pneumonia. <laughs> so everybody stay safe out there. And also appreciate your senses when you have them. You know, like remember to just throughout the day be like, huh. I can breathe out of both of my nostrils. Or I don't have a sore on my tongue that makes it feel like I'm constantly chewing on my tongue. <laughs> right, Midna? She's sitting in my lap now. She's so snuggly. She's gotten really smart to the point where I can, uh, if I don't want her to like lay on me at night, cause she, she's definitely one of those cats that like has to lay on top of you. Which is like really sweet most times, but sometimes when it's like 1.30 and you're already struggling to get to sleep, it's really aggravating to have a cat stepping on you, trying to get comfortable herself. Yeah, I'm talking about you. But if I like throw her off a certain number of times now, she'll get the message and then she'll like curl up next to me and like kind of become like my little, little tiny spoon. Don't ya? That's where she stays. She even stays after I wake up in the morning. She's just like, I don't feel like waking up anymore. I'll wait till you get your coffee and then I'll harass you. Such a sweet kitty. Can y'all tell I love my cat? <laughs>
right now, baby, really. It's kind of hard to draw when you're sitting in my way. All of these to be clipping masks. Clip, clip, clip. I didn't even really need to shade the... Hey, it's okay. If, if it needs to be long, let it be long. That sounds dirty, but... <laughs> be as descriptive as you need to be. All right, Midna. I have to put you down, okay? Right, you can't sit here forever. I, I got work to do. You can't fall asleep here. Ready? One, two, three. Quick little save there just to make sure I don't lose any progress. I guess I'll do the jeans next. Still haven't touched the shoes. <laughs> All right, what was that cool brush that I used for Lauren's jeans? Because th that worked really, really well.
crap. Not what I intended, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of gave his jeans like an acid wash sort of feel. Give him a red grip on his on his gun. And a red trigger. That's gonna be cool. I wanted to pull her gun again, her other gun.
right, I think I'm gonna throw some, some like shadows on the skin. Maybe start getting some of that blending going and then I'll probably call it a night. Um, definitely made a lot of progress because I started, this started as literally this. <laughs> and now it's all of this. So say we're moving right along. I'm glad you're liking it. All right, let's. Get some shading in there. Where is my brush? There it is.
Other shop, what are you doing? Other shop, what? I think I'm gonna call it there for the night. Lots of progress. Lots and lots of progress. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching me draw and color. I guess it was mostly color because 
I did a lot of drawing earlier today, but um, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Um, thanks for coming and hanging out with me while, uh, while I make some art. Um, I'll be streaming again on Friday this week. Um, I'll be playing some Steins Gate again. So yay, more heart, heart pounding sci-fi time travel ethical dilemma of the ethics of time travel anime visual novel style stuff so if you're into that come see me on friday at 7 p.m est um i'm gonna try to post my stream schedule for the next week uh next sunday so keep your eye out on that follow me on twitter and instagram if you don't already um i haven't posted my i did post a little bit a bit of art on twitter but i usually post on instagram um but i let twitter see it first this time so if you want to get get the scoop uh follow me there um and if you uh, haven't followed me already on here give me a follow you'll get a notification every single time i go live so yeah it's always always fun um i hope you guys have a good night or day depending on what time zone you're in and i will see y'all on the next one Bye bye
Thank you. 